You're still on focus and the program continues. Lubambe Copper Mine in Chilabombu has discovered huge copper and cobalt ore deposits which will extend the life of the mine to another 30 years. The new mine is also expected to create about 3,500 jobs from construction to the production phase. Happiness Lungu with the details. After completion of an advanced concept study in March this year, Lubamba Copper Mine has great news. The Chilawamba based mining firm has found what can be described as a game changer. We have recently concluded the work on the Lubamba Extension Project and you all know about that. That's our future. Um, we've just completed um, another program of diamond drilling, over 8,000 metres drilled, four very deep holes. The last hole was 1.8 kilometres in depth a diamond drill hole. Um, we understand that's the longest hole ever drilled in the copper belt. Um, a very successful program. We had four intersections that were all in excess of 4% copper and between 10 and 20 metres thickness. And for everyone that works here underground, we know we've got a 2% ore body. When we're achieving 4% intersections, it's very, very exciting. So we've um, recently firmed up the resource for the extension. It's 235 million tonnes at 3.7% copper. So it has a contained copper of 8.5 million tonnes. And it is without doubt the highest grade, largest undeveloped copper resource in the world. This discovery of the huge cobalt and copper is not only good news for Lubambi, but for Zambia's mining sector. Um, we see that the opportunity is to develop it into a what we call phase one mine that will produce 90,000 tonnes a year off copper. And then when we move to phase two, it will produce 160,000 tonnes a year of copper. It has an initial life of 30 years, but I would expect it will still be going in 50 or 60 years time. It is the most exciting opportunity that I've ever been involved with. It's a great opportunity for everyone at Labumbe and for everyone in Zambia. And the minister has committed with me that we're both going to work personally very hard to ensure that we get through the next phase and, com and can commence construction. The company projects to start constructing the new mine in 2023 once all approval processes have been completed by various key stakeholders. Our resource is sitting at uh, 235 million tonnes of contained copper at 3.7% copper. And... Uh, this is uh, the resource that we managed to define. The green is uh, uh, indicated and the, you know, the, the maroon there is uh, inferred. And the drilling has indicated that uh, the mineralization is open-ended. So we have more potential to expand this resource to you know, significant numbers. And uh, looking at uh, uh, here, this is a core. This is a mineralization type at uh, Lubambe. You see different uh, minerals, uh, charcoalite and bonite, and uh, it's very easy to, it's very predictable, really, to see where the mineralization is sitting. And we've managed to define this resource, you know, 17 kilometers of it, and it's still open-ended. The Zambian government is elated at this discovery. Mines Minister Richard Musukwa has visited the mine to celebrate the good news. This new innovation of the exploration program that has been going on, which is giving a new lifeline in excess of over 30 years at 4%, is a milestone for Zambia and the world at large. And I expect that all the workers will rally behind the management and make a difference. For the management, I can assure you that you have a team of loyal and get dedicated Zambian employees, including the expatriates who are working for you. I can only ask that as you are developing the mine, make sure you also develop the welfare of our employees, including the conditions of service going forward. Over the past few years, Lubamba Copper Mine has grown into a formidable force in mine safety. So far this year, the mine has worked seven months without a lost time injury. The mine has also established mine rescue teams, which are now commanding respect in the mining industry. Put the face mask and secure it. Don't forget to move the goggles. The first team, on the set. Set on the back. Set on the back. Set on the back. Set on the back. Set on the Six 
years ago, Rwanda, Rwanda never had uh, a mine rescue team. Now, um, over the period, we have actually developed a mine rescue team, which um, three years ago, it was number six in the national competition for uh, uh, mine rescue operations. We now have three teams that we have put together that are able to help the mine. Now, the mine rescue team is talking about uh, should anything wrong happen on the mine? You know, mining is a risk business. Should anything happen on the mine? You've got a team that can come and help you uh, rescue the operation that you have on the mine. That team that you see there is a team for our mine rescue operation. And we've got three teams now. We've got an A team, B team, and C team. So what happens is that if you've got an issue on the mine, we give them a call, they will get on the bus which we bought for them uh, last year, which they will come to the mine and do the risk operation that you need. If for some reason KCM has got an issue, this team also can be picked to go and help an operation at KCM. That needs a mine rescue, over, um, mine rescue team. Okay? Also, in order for the mine to be ready for any emergencies, for fires especially, we actually bought a um, fire tender. We actually just got it last year in November. You know, this obviously is meant to allow us to ensure that if there is a fire that is major on the mine, we use this same fire tender to um, fight the fire. This milestone means a lot not just for mining firm, but for the whole mining industry. I'm delighted to see the fire brigade team and also the rescue team, which you have built in a short space of time, and it is already commanding a lot of respect among mining entities. I am confident that working together as workers and management of Rwanda, we are able to grow production. I want to urge all of you to be disciplined and ensure that we, we put in our best to grow production and ensure that we support the company. The huge investments made into the Lubambe so far and the discovery of the new old body undoubtedly promises immense benefits for Lubambe and the country. Happiness Lungu, ZNBC Focus.